Hello and welcome to Virtue of Tech. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at this USB 4 40 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure from GY. This is a 40 gigabit per second NVMe enclosure, which does support USB 4 as well as Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. It is also backwards compatible with USB 3.2, so 20 gigabit per second, 10 gigabit per second, and 5 gigabit per second. So, you know, if you do have multiple computers and you're using this to travel as a portable enclosure, you should have no problems with compatibility across multiple and various um, other devices. This enclosure is using the ASM2464, which is backwards compatible with all the other USB standards. And it also supports PCIe Gen 4 X4. This means that if you do end up using a PCIe Gen 4 drive in this, which has higher speeds, you can expect theoretical speeds of up to 3,700 megabytes per second read and about 3,600 or 700 megabytes per second write. But again, this does depend on the drive and on the um, device that you have it plugged into. The NVMe drive itself does come in a CNC aluminum body. This feels robust, it feels solid, it's well made and it's easy to hold, it's small, it does fit. On the front, you do have the USB-C port as well as some little holes there, probably for some passive cooling. It's got two screws, which is what it takes to open up the enclosure. It also has an LED indicator on the front. This lights up in green and it's useful to have so you don't do a premature disconnect, which can maybe corrupt your drive. You've also got some thermal pads that come included as well as some stickers. Um, again, if you're buying multiple drives or you like to keep your drives organized, these can get attached the front here so you can label it as firm game tools app and um, it also comes with a plain one too if you've got a marker pen just to write something onto and um, th again this is a really nice accessory you've also got a cable um, this is a Thunderbolt cable um, USB 4 Thunderbolt um, it does have the Thunderbolt logo at the top and it's about 50 centimeters long and it also comes with a velcro strap as well as a screwdriver if you want to open it up opening this up and taking another look inside you've got the interface here and then it has a purple PCB and installing a drive is really simple I've got this 512 gigabyte PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive from Micron so all, I'm, all I've got to do is just remove the screw and then just insert the drive. Next, I'm just going to tighten the screw back in. There you go. And then just attach these thermal pads onto the drive. Um, I'm going to use three of them. One, two, and three. Um, I'm placing them onto the memory chip and onto the controller and just in the middle as well as there's some other chip there as well. So just make sure it's all covered. Next, you just want to grab the top plate. This does act as a passive heatsink. Um, this helps to keep your drive cool as it dissipates uh, dissipates heat. Um, there's also the um, controller on the back side as well, and this also has a ten tendency to warm up. But once again, this aluminum enclosure helps to get rid of that heat so you can get longer sustained read and write speeds. So as I was saying earlier, it is backwards compatible, but to start with, let's look at how it performs on an AMD Ryzen based system plugged into a USB 4 port. The um, benchmark that I'm most interested in is the um, Blackmagic Disk B test as um, I'm, I mainly wanted to use this for um, editing videos and storing video files on. And I'm just having a look at the results here and yeah, it should have no problem with it. Um, um, when I'm recording videos, I'm normally um, recording onto my Panasonic camera and then I'm converting it into an, and according to the speed test, it can handle 4K 
video files just fine, reading and writing as well, editing, no problem, editing of this. I did get a 4K write speed of about 424 megabytes per second and then a read of 833 megabytes per second. Um, again, depending on the type of file that you're using or editing, the speed that you're getting can actually vary. If you are handling 1080p progress files, then you will get higher speeds of about 1,700 megabytes write and about 3,335 megabytes per second reads. And again, depending on what you're doing, your speeds can vary a bit. I did also test this in a 20 gigabit per second port as well as a 5 gigabit per second port. Um, for those interested, um, the results will be somewhere here. So we've got the 20 gigabit per second results. And now um, you can pause the video if you want to see that. And now we've got the 5 gigabit per second results. So once again, if you are traveling or you are using this on you know, other devices, it should still work. And you can still read or write off this NVMe enclosure. Um, the, the one thing that I did notice about this, in, um, about this enclosure was that the write speed was a bit low then um, a bit a little lower than I would have liked in um, Crystal Disk Mark. Um, this was set to the default preset with, um, I think it was a one gigabit write, and then I ran that five times. And um, I'm not sure if that's the drive or if it's the um, NVMe drive, but the NVMe drive, when I tested it internally on my, um, in my internal motherboard um, slot, it does have a speed or a write speed of about 5,000 megabytes per second. So I'm not sure why it's being throttled in this NVMe enclosure. It might have something to do with the firmware on this, which is updatable, or it might just be drive compatibility. Um, over on our website, um, I will be testing this out with some other um, drives as I get a hold of them. And um, so, yeah, if you are interested in that, just leave a um, comment down below and um, you can also check out the website for the full written review where I go into more detail. But yeah, overall I'm quite happy with this. Um, it is the most, more affordable option when it comes to USB 4, 40 gigabit per second NVMe enclosures and I picked this up from AliExpress and it was at a good price. Thank you for watching and if you've got any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and take care.